Hi guys, Kia here and I have Christina from the town of Silverthorne joining me. Christina, how are you? It's so good to see you. It's so good to see you as well, Kia. How are you? I am good and I am loving these longer sunshiny days. Of course, we've had the time change in addition to the fact that our days are getting longer. So I was actually in the uh, hot tub the other day and realizing it's been a while since I've been in the hot tub and it's still be daylight outside. <laughs> Yes, it's really nice to have these longer spring days, you know, going for um, an after work or after school walk along the Blue River Trail is just a very nice treat um, this time of year. And it's, I think, especially nice after people, if they've been online working all day or running various errands, it's nice to be able to get out and enjoy some fresh air after work, maybe a little walk before dinner, et cetera. And over in Silverthorne, um, I know the Blue River Trail has always been a very popular trail for people to sort of do a little stroll or bike ride, whatever it may be, while they're getting a coffee from Red Buffalo, a little wind down. But there's really lots of places throughout Silverthorne that people can enjoy to get some fresh air after work. Yes, yeah, the Blue River Trail is a great one that's maintained by the town's parks department throughout the year. So whether you're going out with uh you know, your family or walking your dog. There's a, it's just a great trail to take in the sights and sounds of the Blue River. But if you're looking for more of a, a trail, um, you know, for after work in the evening hours, um, Salt Lake Trails, Ptarmigan Trail, Ingram Mountain Creek, those are all great, um, great areas to explore and take in the views and enjoy that sunny afternoon after a long day at the computer. Now, what else should people uh, look forward to spring season at the town of Silverthorne? What's up and coming that people should uh, have a heads up for? Yes, yeah, we're getting excited um, and getting ready for April 1st Friday, May 1st Friday. We've got things in the works, um, so stay tuned. Um, these both May, April and May 1st Fridays will focus on ways to support and engage our business community and come together as a community right now. So stay tuned, um, head to silverthorn.org in the coming days and weeks for more information on those fun First Friday events that we will be having. Um, registration at the Silverthorne Recreation Center, session three will be beginning shortly. So um, next week, head over to silverthorn.org to check out what programs are being offered at the Silverthorne Recreation Center during this last session of winter programs. Um, so yeah, just wrapping things up there at the rec center for winter programs, tons going on with gymnastics, um, adult programs and um, more. Excellent. I know it's, it's, it's hard to believe that it's already going to be like April soon. I know Yes. <laughs> in a way I kind of feel like, okay, we've, we've survived winter with this crazy pandemic and all the adjustments and changes that we've had to made. Uh, have, to, have had to make for that. And it'll be definitely be nice to get out and enjoy some fresh air and some sunny weather. And again, take advantage of some of those uh, programs and classes at the Silverthorne Rec Center. This, it's hard to believe that it's end of winter <laughs> and beginning of spring. I know. Uh, <laughs> we know all know how winter and, uh, and spring go in Summit County. So if it keeps snowing, head over to Maryland Creek Park, Rainbow Park to go sledding, and uh, you know we'll we'll get to these warmer spring days soon. Yeah, it's definitely. I think this time of year is a good time of year to have a winter picnic because it is so nice outside. But we still yeah. have plenty of snow to enjoy. So again, whether it's snowshoeing or skiing, there's still a little bit of snow on the ground, but you can still find spots where you can start your spring activities. You know, if a lot of the rec paths. I've noticed are pretty clear and dry so people can get out and start cycling if they want to. So now again, where can people go to find out more information on all the different trails and ways to get outside at Silverthorne? Yeah, you can head to silverthorne.org to learn more about the upcoming programs at the Silverthorne Recreation Center, nearby trails and our park activities. Excellent. I think it's, it's, a, great, it's a great resource, that website. Okay, folks, so be sure to go ahead and check out the town of Silverthorne. Check out that website to find out about more areas to explore. And of course, you know, get the heads up on the up and coming uh, First Friday events. And don't forget to register at the Silverthorne Rec Center as well, because I know those programs do fill up quickly. Now, Christina, thank you so much for joining me this morning. Thanks, Kia. Have a great day.